So obviously I did take off yesterday. It was actually really nice. I just didn't do anything all day, just kind of relaxed. I did end up shipping about 30 packages yesterday, so once I did that, I just crawled in bed and watched Netflix for all day. And I, I needed that, I really needed that. Today's episode, I am gonna head to the Sawgrass outlets. You guys know and love it there. But I am gonna show you guys the designer this time. You know, Gucci, maybe Burberry. It is really difficult to film, you know, you're not allowed to, and whenever you go into Gucci, you'll notice there's like 20 employees like stalking you, like making sure you're not filming. So I am gonna try to get as much content as possible. But we will hit up the regular outlets, you know, Polo Ralph Lauren, Nike, all the good stuff. We will hit up an outlet. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button. I know yesterday's video got a lot of dislikes, but honestly, it is what it is. If you guys think that I treat my dog bad because I tell him to stop whenever I'm filming, aka working, you know, if this was a business call, same thing. If, if your dog is barking nonstop and you're on phone with your boss or on phone with a client, you're not gonna, you're gonna have to tell him to be quiet so that way you can finish your business. You know, you're not gonna just let him go. You know, he's perfectly fine right now because he's not making any noise, he's not barking. And I just, when I'm filming, I don't wanna hear while I'm editing a dog barking or a dog crying because I know you guys don't wanna see that either. So that's the reason why. So I, I don't know why you guys think I, I don't, like I treat my dogs bad just because I tell them to be quiet, but it is what it is. While we're at the outlets, I am gonna film a Marshalls and TJ Maxx video, probably that will go up tomorrow. So let's jump to the outlets. Let's see if Pax on is anything good. Ton of guests. He's pretty cool. Like swim shorts. Champion all embroidered logo. All these Tommy jeans were literally just at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. That's so funny. Got like some Umbro track pants. Bunch of track pants. Some Champion ones. The little C for 50 bucks. Let's see what else they got. Anything good soon here? Calvin Klein jeans. Pretty cool, like a rayon Playboy button down. It also has like the matching swim shorts. Some Playboy, these are sick too. Champion, like track pant or track gym shorts. Mesh with a little big C. It's crazy how they're bringing everything back. Champion literally used to be a Walmart brand. Champion, Champion. These Kappas are pretty sick too. No, like short shorts, Kappa track pants, jackets, $110, forest green, track jackets. Speaking of Kappa, ton of Kappa. All the shirts, long sleeves, some track pants. Then look at the colors with all the jackets, jeez. This forest green's nice, the purple, the pink. So many colors for days, how much are they? Only $35, that's a pretty good deal. The orange one, orange is pretty hard, not gonna lie. I also got these with like the gold, 45 bucks. Damn, they can really read up on their Kappa, they have so much Kappa now. Damn, look at this, I've never seen a Billionaire Boys denim jacket. All embroidered, the little like dyed on the front. Retail is 225 and they want 100 bucks. And they have multiple ones. It's kind of cool. I bet so many people have taken the pins off these things. Like, look, one's already missing on that, the little astronaut. I bet so many people come and just steal these pins. Then they also got the matching denim jeans, $90. Some sweatpants, a yellow colorway, gray. Then we got the ice cream, like little running man. Little BBC ice cream. That's sick. Ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream. Another more BBC. I've showed this before. We got like the track pants, the button down shirts. This is like the bowling shirt, BBC. Then, as far as BBC shirts, the same thing as last time, like the multicolored. But they did get a few more stuff. Like, uh, let's see what's new. Probably this pink thing is new. The Paisley they've had, the jerseys they've had, collared shirts. These are probably new, like the the retro colorway. The jerseys they've had before, jerseys, long sleeve t-shirts. I think this is the same Versace collection that we saw at TJ Maxx. Uh, I think TJ Maxx was 40, this is 70. 
I got some different colors though. A little Versace collection. Versace, Versace. This is all Versace. The Moschino or Machino, however you guys want to pronounce it. A ton of it. Let's go into the Burberry outlets, see uh, what is sitting at Burberry. Got the monogram uh, all buttoned down. Retail is 300 on sale for 200 Wow, this shirt is so sick. Uh, 235 marked down from 295 That is so cool with like the buttons and the jewelry and everything. Like a pink color bathing suit. I've never seen this color before. I've always seen like red, green, blue. 295 Retail, 205 on sale. Eh, Burberry didn't really have much of anything. Now let's go hit up Gucci though. Gucci is the main thing that we came here for. These have been sitting forever. White monogram. I remember I saw these and I actually made my own moccasins just because I saw that they were making their own, like I put my own Gucci and everything. These are really soft but not worth 800 bucks. Damn, I've never seen this many type of denim at Gucci. Look how crazy this embroidery is. This one's like dyed a different color. This one has like this. I've never seen such a variety of Gucci denim. This is so nice. Even the dyed like corduroy. And as far as the stuff, look at this peacoat jacket. This thing is so nice. How much is it though? 1800, that's actually not bad for how big of a jacket this thing is. Some Gucci t-shirts for a thousand? No, that can't be a, right. Uh, doesn't say the price tag. Doesn't say, super strange. Maybe on this one? Nope. Damn, look at this studded jacket. Almost reminds me of like YSL vibes. That's insane, oh my gosh. How much is this? Damn, they also have this denim jacket, but this one has like paint all over Hollywood. The chain's going, so sick. These are all like the Lil Pump Gucci sweaters with all like the Swarovskis that all the crazy rappers like like Donald Duck. That's so sick. Like fluorescent color, 800 bucks, well 709. After tax, it's 800. So sick. I feel like it wouldn't be an outlet video if I didn't go to the Nike outlet, even though we never find anything, like, never, but eh, at least we'll show you guys what there's not have. Look at these crazy things. I thought they were sandals at first. I didn't realize it was an actual shoe. Like, I thought that was the bed of it. All right, let's see what's sitting. We have these Air Max 97s, 150 bucks. Damn, these are actually super nice. What are these? Air Max 97s NRG, 170. These almost remind me of the Shawns just because of like the plaid and the craziness. Obviously they're nothing like, but just the premium materials that it has on it. Super nice. Let's see what else. Got the purple high tops, orange high tops. Red. Got some Jordan 6 retros. These things have been sitting here forever, these threes. I'm surprised they're not cheaper than 140. Ones, nothing else good on the actual shelves. Let's go check the clearance section. Even the clearance section has nothing but BS stuff. The problem is with this one is that the Amazon sellers come and get all the good stuff before uh, it hits the floor basically. So that's the reason why I can never find like anything good is just because, you know, those bulk sellers come in and buy it. Look at these. Air Force One like foam posits. You guys always seem to appreciate the Tommy Hill figure uh, outlet, so let's go check it out. These are pretty cool duffel bags. The thing that caught my eye was this nautical flag with the Hill figure spell out. I wonder like in a few years if this is gonna be considered the vintage Tommy Hill figure and this is what's gonna be like popular is the retro stuff that is sitting now. Same backpacks as last time at three color way. And then last time I did see this all over shirt that I really liked. Now they have like a yellow all over one. It's just yellow and navy. I really hate yellow and navy. If they would've done yellow and black, I really rarely wear navy stuff. This is a unique Tommy like half zip. Uh, how much is it though? 
$120. See, the thing is, is that all this retro Tommy Hill figure, we usually, well, that's really nice too. We usually find this stuff at uh, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and all that. So I usually just wait to buy it once it hits there. A couple pinstriping jeans with like the three colored flag, the old school. Seeing anything else that I haven't showed you guys before. These are nice too. Big flag. This seems like it's new also. You have like the Hilfiger track style shorts as well as the pants. They would have done Tommy Hilfiger. It would have been so much better, but I feel like Hilfiger, Hilfiger, Hilfiger. I don't know. Just not nice in my opinion. Damn, these are just like the vintage ones. Like spot on. If you ever found a vintage uh, pair of Tommy shoes, these are pretty damn close. The vintage ones used to have a flag on the back. Now these have Tommy Hill figure. The old ones used to have just like a little flag. And then on the tongue, it used to have like a big Tommy Hill figure flag on this one. But still pretty sick that they're bringing it back. So you just saw it was in Tommy Hill figure. Now let's check what they got in Polo Ralph Lauren. Oh, I already see the 1993 sailing t-shirt. That's kind of cool. Got the new Polo Bear, like thin, thin hoodie. It's this USA. Damn, this is pretty sick. Like the vintage bed sheet style. Little polar bears all throughout. Same as the bedding. That's always been the regular Ralph Lauren stuff. What is this, like a satin jacket? Damn, this is super nice. All like embroidered Alaska. Damn, like they have this summer bear rolling the beach ball. The colors on this is just so sick. All the flags, they have the striped hoodie. The little polo crew neck, the t-shirts. I remember when these, yeah, limited edition. These were supposed to be limited edition, but clearly they weren't. It's so funny how they retro this. Now they're like at the outlets, the 1993. They also have a white one over here. I like the navy one a lot better. Or maybe get the white, but dye it like black or like a red. That'd be sick. They also have like this really nice denim flag, flag zip up. And what's this, like a multicolored Polo, the 1993, RL93. This USA flag, we've had one before, but it was a cashmere one. This one's not a cashmere, and it's 200 bucks. I think the cashmere one was like 356, but the cashmere was so soft. Like this is, I don't know, it doesn't even feel good compared to the cashmere. Really sick, like Navajo print style, like windbreaker with the half Navajo, half camo. How much is this? This is 160 bucks. Damn, these are on clearance. Like the Navajo print, like sweat shorts. If I didn't have so many shorts, I'd definitely cop for the personal. Damn, look at these Hawaiian. Good, how are you? With a little bear, that's so sick. Wow, these are perfect for summertime. You guys have been watching for a while, you know that I had basically every color of these shorts, like black, gray, navy, yellow, red, light blue. I've had so many of those colors. Now I don't even own one of them. I sold every single one of them, but they were they were fire back in the day. I used to come here almost once a week when like I was at my big big Vans crave. Like I'm talking, I used to get Vans all the time. These are so sick, embroidered with like the patch underneath that. Never even seen those before. These are like NASA ones, right? It looks like it. The music is so loud in here, so I'm just probably gonna keep talking so that way they don't copyright me, hopefully. You have the independent collab with Vans. You have the green and white. Uh, what other colors? We got the blue checkers. So many checkers, so many checkers. Look at these, I've never seen these. Are these like a custom it must be? Classic slip-on, it has like the flowers. I've never seen that before. Also same with these. I'm curious if the clearance section always gets like custom because look that says RS for somebody's initials and they did like the Galaxy. I wonder if these are just return customs like somebody made the customs and they one didn't fit on them or two they just didn't like them and they had them returned because they never make this and obviously RS is somebody's initials like RS RS unless it stands for Ryan Sheckler but I doubt it stands for that. And then we do have uh, some, oh look at these all over camo but like multicolored camo. These are insane. For girls, look at these sequins sparkly ones. These are insane. Like color shift. Fuzzy ones. Some fuzzy ones. Never seen these before. I heard Vans all over print. So we saw these at Nordstrom Rack the other day uh, with the little Velcro and they were $30 here. Oh, they're $40. I guess not big of a difference, 10 bucks. 